Okay, students, today I'm really excited because we are going to start our weaving project, and it is on a circle loom. This is one of my favorite projects, and I hope you enjoy it too. This is still being woven, so this one is not done, but you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. I would probably weave this until I only have like a couple inches. So a lot of my painting is actually going to be covered up. Today is the day we're actually going to be making the paper loom that we're going to weave on. So you're going to be given a paper plate, and I want you to keep in mind that the center of it is going to be covered up. So I have a design back there, but you can't really see it. So I wouldn't spend too much time on your design on the inside. So for example, for this one, painted the whole plate yellow and then started working from the outside back in to create designs. Today I'm going to do similar to this one with the rings of color, but I'm not going to spend a lot of detail on the inside. So you're going to get your plate, and the very first thing you want to do is to write your name on the back of the plate with a Sharpie. So I'm going to write Mrs. G, and then write your class code. So it would be second grade, two, and whatever your teacher's initial is. Flip it over, and it's time to start painting. You will need some paint brushes, paint, and water. Now I'm going to need some probably different size brushes. I'm just going to start with these larger ones right now. But when I get to the point where I'm going to add the details, I will get a smaller brush. So to begin with, I need to think about what colors I want to use. So I'm thinking maybe mostly the cool colors over here. I can mix them up. I'm going to start with um, turquoise, this teal kind of color. And I'm just going to do a big circle in the middle. I know that this part, the middle of the plate, isn't going to be seen much. Now when I make this circle, I'm going to be very careful to kind of keep it the shape that I want. And you can see when it starts, the brush starts to get dry, I might need a little bit of water. Just adding a little water to my paint helps it move. I always, I always say it's like a river. If you want it to flow, you need water. So I get this paint to kind of spread out. I might want to make my circle a little bigger. I'm going to add a little more paint and make the inside circle. We're making concentric circles a lot like the carpet that we sit on. And we learned about Vasily Kandinsky in kindergarten, and he liked to make his concentric circles, so it's kind of what I'm being inspired by right now. Oop. So if you make a little, you can always fix it. I went outside the lines a little bit, so my circle's gonna get even bigger. So this inside circle's quite large. Then I'm going to rinse my brush and get a new color, make sure it's rinsed really well. Because this paint was another student's, I'm sharing with them, and they aren't going to want their colors all mixed together. So I'm going to be very careful to rinse in between. I'm going to add the next blue and do another ring of blue. And I want it to be really not sloppy done. I'm not going to go super fast. I'm not just going to be like, there's a ring, and then do another one and be like, oh, that's good enough. I'm taking my time, and I'm making sure that my lines of my circles are crisp. Like I said, if you want to paint your whole plate one color and then create a design starting on the outside going in, that is okay too. I decided I wanted my plate to have a couple different colors in it to start. Okay. Once I have this ring, I'm going, you can see my brush is getting really dry really fast, so I need water. My brush is thirsty. I'm going to rinse my brush, and I'm going to switch to green. This whole layer is going to be green inside, and it's kind of nice. The plate has this natural lip, which creates maybe two other rows of color. So I'm going to add green. Once my plate is completely colored, covered, I should say, I don't want any white of the plate showing. If I want white, I'll add white with paint. But the whole plate needs to be painted. So I can't put this green and say I'm done. I need to finish painting the edge of my plate. And it looks like I want to paint this edge green too because I got up too high. So that's where you really want to be careful. But you can always go back and color over top of it with another color. And I'm going to fill up my whole plate. When this is all done, then I would go back in and I would get a smaller brush and I would add details. So I would add maybe a design or maybe I want some zigzags. Um, so I would keep adding starting from the outside in 
with a smaller brush and build up your plate. Have fun and make sure to cover the whole thing up.